this morning, a disaster recovery archaeologist is helping park fire victims recover treasured memories from their destroyed homes. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma shows us how she's making it happen. You know, big or small, uh, distorted or whole, uh, to be able to give those back to everybody gives them a sense of closure, which is so incredibly needed. This is what Amanda Smith is taking her time to do in the community of Cohasset. Once homes are properly assessed by Cal OES and Cal Recycle, Smith walks properties to recover any surviving items. But this work isn't new to her. In the campfire, she gathered ashes from urns for families. She hopes to do something similar for park fire survivors. Smith wants people to remain hopeful that some of their possessions can get back to them. A lot of uh, small items, coins, jewelry, um, musical instruments, glass items, ceramics, and occasionally some paper items, which may not last long, but it, it is an opportunity to take a photo and say, this was still here. Smith says she follows all of Cal OES and Cal Recycle guidelines. Of course, there are many safety hazards to look out for, like making sure to not spread debris from one property to another. Her and Frank DeTiro, who lived here, tell me they have already found about ten dollars to $15,000 of items. DeTiro says he is thankful to get some of those memories back. She has found some family heirlooms that are irreplaceable and um, my coin collection and uh, some things that my kids have made. And now they want to find one of his most important memories, his antique engagement ring. It was a gift from my grandmother, and if I could find it, it would mean the world to me. Smith hopes she can continue to do this work and help as many fire victims as she can. Reporting in Butte County, Diego Moctezuma, Action News Now. Smith says depending on the amount of debris, it takes about two days per site to try to retrieve various items.